Jim, how do you feel after that tonight? I'm delighted, James, obviously. Um, you know, we knew the importance of the game uh, for both teams and, um, you know, the players were quite relaxed prior to the game. Uh, and, you know, I asked them to go out and enjoy it. You know, uh, there can be a lot of anxiety and a lot of nerves around about games like this. Um, but I really believe if you go out there feeling nervous, then you can't play to the... You know what you're capable of, and I thought the players managed the game brilliantly tonight, and uh, they didn't allow the emotion of the occasion to get to them. And um, I thought they showed the supporters tonight how much it really means to them that we stay in the league. You know the the way they went about the the job, each one individually, the little different battles all over the park. I thought we won the majority of first and second balls. The last 15 minutes pans out how you would expect really you know we're just trying to hang on and um, make sure that we we come away with a win and hearts threw absolutely everything at us we could have probably if we'd have made better decisions at key moments on the break we could have uh, made it a little bit more comfortable for us and maybe got that second goal but I am um, I couldn't be any more pleased for the players to be honest with you uh, their commitment their effort uh, their desire, their willingness just not to get beat tonight was uh, was fantastic and um, I'm delighted for the supporters, obviously, you know, for them to be able to go away tonight um, knowing that we've got a six point gap now between ourselves and bottom, we've jumped a couple of places in the table which psychologically I think gives everybody a lift, um, so yeah, great night all around. Yeah, you mentioned that final 15 minutes, I think naturally is the way a game like that will go, but how pleased were you, especially I think personally in the first half, with how much on the front foot the players were tonight? Yeah, well look, I mean that was um, that was what we asked the lads to do. You know, I, I knew tonight wasn't going to be pretty. You know, it wasn't uh, it wasn't a night for getting the ball down and trying to play our way out from the back. And um, Hearts want you to do that. You know, Hearts want to try and press you aggressively and win the win the ball high up in your defensive third. So we we just took that out of the equation and we went and played a little bit longer tonight, went and played in their half of the pitch and I think if you probably look at the stats for the opening 45 minutes I would imagine we've probably spent 75% of that half of football in their half. So um, and listen, we should have been one up, you know, a fantastic counter attack. Um, Alex Kubiak down the right hand side does brilliant to have the awareness to cut that one back to Kami and Kami can't do any more, it's a fantastic save from Zamal so you know I felt we could have easily came in a goal up, um, but I'm delighted. I'm delighted for everyone James connected to the club. You know, it's not job done. Let's not get carried away. Let's not, um, you know, relax and, and think that we're safe. We're by no means safe. You know, and I said to the players yesterday in the meeting, win, lose or draw tonight, it wasn't going to be the defining moment of the season. You know, um, the fact that we've won it is brilliant, but we need to keep our feet on the ground and not get carried away. John Obika got his 12th of the season as well, a really good return for the big man. John's been excellent, you know, he really has, and a nicer guy you could not meet. Um, he's so well liked within the group, um, and you know, he's just a, a fantastic professional, and he works extremely hard on his game, you know, he really does. Himself and Junior Marias uh, stay back after training for 15-20 minutes after everybody else has gone in, and they're working on different parts of the game that they know they need to improve. But, you know, the big man's goal return, um, I think, has been excellent. It really has. Considering that he joined the club the week in the build-up to our first league game at Easter Road. Um, you know, had no pre-season. Took him a long time to get up to speed, but he's just got on with it. He's not mumped or moaned or let anything get to him. He's just carried on being the player that we know he's capable of being. And, um, you know, I'm delighted for him. I really am. And um, a couple of injuries tonight, unfortunately. Any er early indications on how they are? Well, they don't look good, to be honest. Um, you know, Conor McCarthy looks like a hamstring. Um, you know, and you know, I, I know you don't recover quickly from them, so best case scenario might be a couple of weeks. Um, Ilkay Dermis has went off with a, a slight tweak in his groin. Hopefully. He came off early enough and didn't do that any more damage. And unfortunately, Kami's took a real blow uh, to the leg. It's a dead leg, but you know it's swelled up quite considerably there after the game. So again, that's another one that you know Saturday might come too early for. So 
you know, it's uh, it's great credit to the players that went on in their places as well, I have to say. You know, Jamie McGrath went in the middle of the park. I thought he was excellent. Tony Andrew comes on into that middle of the pitch to play a more defensive role than what he would like to be doing. Kyle McAllister done a job defensively as well, the late latter stages of the game. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm delighted. You know, I hate singling people out, but I, I thought the two experienced boys on the park for us tonight, Sam Foley and, and Ross Wallace in particular, um, were real calming influences on the guys around them. You know, Sam was probably best player on the park, I thought, in, in, the, in the first half in, in, in midfield, you know, winning second balls and playing on the front foot and doing everything that we asked him to do. And then he drops into centre half and cruises the game again. So, uh, and obviously Ross, you know, it's no coincidence that we've had two clean sheets in the last two games here at home um, with him sitting in there in front of the back four, protecting him and um, just having a calm head. So, look, it's about the group, it's about the staff as well. I'm delighted for them because I see the hard work that they put in. So, collectively, as a club, directors right down to the players, supporters, staff, it's a big night for us all. Yeah, credit to the players for how they turned up tonight, but I think big credit should go to the fans as well. It was a real good atmosphere in here tonight. It was, it was a brilliant atmosphere, you know, and um, you know, football's a funny old game, isn't it? You know, I mean, we, we played a lot better against St Johnston, drew nil-nil. Um, hit the post twice, Ander Clark has an absolute game of his life and, and we get, you know, certain sections booed us off the park. Tonight, we didn't play all that great, but they all stay around in great numbers after the game and give the lads the kind of reception that I want them to give them on a weekly basis. And, um, you know, great credit to the supporters. They've been, they've been absolutely brilliant, they really have. And, um, of course, we're all delighted for them as well. Um, and the fact that they, they generate that atmosphere and, and the players can feel it, it gives the players a little bit more in the tank, if you like. But, you know, that was a big thing for me tonight. Um, you know, I just I asked the players to go and show the fans how much it means to us, you know. And like any fan, you know, and we're all supporters of football at the end of the day. If you see one of your team getting stuck in and making tackles and putting their body on the line and showing aggression and showing everybody how much it means to them, then the supporters will back you. And I think the supporters felt that tonight from the players, that they really do care about this club and they're going to fight tooth and nail to make sure we stay in this league. Jim, thanks very much for your time. Well done.